We know that high fructose corn syrup causes fatty liver disease in animal models. No matter what the television ads say. Correct. And we know that our patients may be exposed to hidden high fructose corn syrup in things like iced teas in the can that come, you know, that you can buy in the store, or uh, fruit juice beverages. So high fructose co corn syrup is now the main source of sweetener, not only in soda, but in juices and teas, and a significant amount. You know, the average adult intake of high fructose corn syrup today is 50 grams. And somebody out there is in drinking- In a year? In a- In a day. In a day. 50 <laughs> grams- Obviously I don't know my metrics very in well. In a 50 grams in a day. day. And you and I, you know, somebody's drinking yeah. our 50 grams, yeah. right? So, <laughs> And we know that at 25 grams, just 25 grams, you get intestinal dysbiosis, fermentation-induced intestinal dysbiosis. At 50 grams, you get insulin resistance. So there's every reason to want to educate our patients about high fructose corn syrup.